guy, I think his name is Chang. He's a very, he's an author and he's a Chinese, lived in China for 20 Gordon years. Chang. Yeah. Gordon Chang. Gordon Chang. I have, I have Gordon clip, Chang. I have a clip of him too. Gordon Chang is great. Yeah. And he's not putting up with any crap. Yeah, I certainly believe that this was the right thing to do. The State Department talked about protecting U.S. intellectual property, and the Houston consulate is known as a hub for espionage. (laughs) We've been talking to China about hacking and all the rest of these things for about three decades, and yet we haven't gotten anywhere. We had the agreement with Chinese leader Xi Jinping in September 2015 for countries not to hack each other for commercial purposes. We had the Section 301 tariffs that were supposed to be a remedy for the theft of U.S. intellectual property. But China has continued to steal U.S. IP in the hundreds of billions of dollars a year. Um, Yes, you could say this is unfortunate, closing the consulate, but we had to do something to try to get China to stop this dangerous activity. You want to hear what Gordon Chang says in my clip? Yeah, I'd love to. He's great. Well, the State Department said the reason it was shut is because it was involved in intellectual property theft. And they also wanted to protect the information of U.S. individuals. Also, there are stories that this consulate had links with protest groups in the United States providing financial and logistical support. Uh That's unconfirmed. But what is confirmed is that the Chinese Foreign Ministry and the Communist Party's Global Times have been engaged in a malicious disinformation campaign, deliberately stoking racial tension in the U.S. and U.S. Customs has seized items coming from China this year that would be very handy for protesters. Well, now, unconfirmed, but like what? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe uh, helmets and gear, stuff like that. You know, they always seem to have interesting gear. Bricks, huh. Chinese bricks, maybe. <laughs> Chinese bricks. <laughs> A note that I got from Sir Loin. The wife and I have noticed a very strange occurrence. My wife likes to get flower seeds off the net. That's where I get my seeds, too. They all seem to come from China. Recently, the people in the gardening forums, pay attention, trolls, the people in the gardening forums we are in have been receiving small packets from China. None of these people have ordered anything. They just show up. They are marked earrings, but have some kind of seeds in them. We have not received any yet, but being that we are kind of at war with China, I'm a tad concerned as to this offering of free seeds marked as jewelry. I wonder if any other producers have seen this. What could that be? Wow. That's kind of, that's kind of dubious. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Maybe it's, uh, it's poppy seeds. I don't know. What could it be? Earrings. I wonder why they say earrings. It's code. Yeah, of course it's code. But why? But w- what's the... Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Uh, It's a crazy world. I'm telling you, crazy things going on. Crazy.